Hi there, this is Billy. I have a project that took me almost two months to create this automated greenhouse using the Arduino ESP32 chips and a number of sensors. In the next screen, you'll see all the sensors, the lux meter, the air temperature, humidity, and the water temperature, which is represented by C, and then the electrical conductivity, representing the condensation of the new. I also have two push buttons, one to manually switch on the LED, the other one for the pump. But we can also use the MQTT protocol on the uh, Adafruit.io dashboard to control the pump and LED according to a timer. At the bottom of the screen, you can see the LED on hour and LED off loud out. You can slide the bar to set the values and these values will be recorded in the EEPROM of the ESP32 so it will be kept even though after power resets. The last row of sliding bar is to control the pump. You can turn it on for 10 minutes and then turn it off for 20 minutes and then repeat. This control applies to air pump water pump or even the fogger or mist maker. On the top of the screen you can see the, the EC, electrical conductivity, uh, representing the condensation of the nutrient and the lux meter value representing the light condition. Usually around 10,000 lux is perfect for plants. Then followed by the air temperature and humidity charts. These are picked up by the sensors of my build. I programmed this using the Arduino IDE C++ program and I referenced some of the other authors posts on YouTube and on GitHub. So thanks a lot for these people and I put them uh, the original license and credit in my source code. You can download the source code from my GitHub, which also includes some instructions how to prepare the hardware. Okay, this is the product. It's got an LED glow light using the blue and red color LED on an extensible pipe that I took from an antenna. On the base, I use a plastic container and inside is a powerful pump, a 5 watt water pump with a no-show uh, sprinkler that can spring in every direction. I place a foam board on top of the growth tank, drill holes to put the net pots and plant the vegetables. Let's get closer to the panel. So the panel has the OLED, you see that it's blinking because of the camera refreshing but actually it's very still so you can see the same daytime, um, humidity, temperature and the lux values. The C means the water temperature which is used to calculate the EC value. Okay, let me take off the lid and you can see the pump with the nostril, the sprinkler. I have a spray 360 degrees. Let me push the button to turn on the pump. Okay, you can see how strong the spray is. The spray all angles that touches the roots of the plant. This is how aeroponics works. The roots will not touch the water directly, but through the mist or spray from the sprinklers. A little white plastic ball is the lux meter. Uh, some components are embedded inside and the two point sensor is the EC meter and the one point uh, metal tube is the uh, water temperature sensor. And then on, on the box there is a white color air temperature and humidity sensor. I was trying to put in the pH sensor but uh, condition of the sensor do not allow that to be 
immersed into water for a long time, so I, I dropped that idea afterwards. EC value and maximum temperature are already enough to condition your plants. Program it to put in more water, put in more light. Uh, optionally, we can add the air fan, but since I am using an open system, so air fan may not be uh, necessary. Let's take a closer look at the pond and the sprinkler. The white little tube there controls the angle of the spray, so you can adjust it by just squeezing or twisting with the pipe to adjust the angle. So the water goes at the middle of the sprinkler. That will give the best all angle spray to the plants. This is the, L o, um, the LED glow lights. You see there's a blue and two red. This is the combination for growing vegetables. If you are growing fruits or flower, you need four reds and one blue. This is the small box that holds the ESP32 on the bottom right and the relay module on the top left. So I power this all by 5 volt USB. There's no electric power very safe to use. You don't need to worry about getting wet or shocking someone. So this is the relay module. You just need to have two relays. Now the black cable is for the water pump. The white cable is for the glow lights, the LED. The telescope uh, stand allows this glow light to be adjusted in all heights. When you have seedlings just germinating, the glow light should be as close to the seedling as possible to avoid a long neck situation. You want the light to be closer to the young plants. But after they have germinated and start growing, you want to cruise the glow lights a little bit further away from the plant, otherwise the leaves will be burnt by the light. So the whole unit is powered by this 2 ampere USB power converter. Just restarted the kit, so you see it is showing the on-off cycle of the LED in the pump, uh, connecting to Wi-Fi, and then connecting to MPTT. So the timing of this ESP32 is based on the NTP network time protocol. Once it gets to the internet, it shows the NTP time and get the clocks uh, adjusted. So now you see the LED is on, the key on means the pump is on, then it will be shut down in 10 minutes. So you can see how soon the pump will be shut down. And the lux meter is showing uh, 1,000 something because the uh, light is uh, too far away from the plant. If you push it down, it will show uh, much better values. Okay, that's all I have today. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and click like. Thank you.